Shabbat Shalom. I want to share a dream that I had a couple nights ago. This was a unique kind of dream where it was really vivid and left a lasting imprint. Um, and with these kinds of dreams, when they come up, um, I, I do my best to capture them, writing them down um, right after I wake up if possible so I can retain the ideas and, and what was seen. And um, because uh, just times in the past, I've had uh, dreams like that. And then um, I found that there were um, messages there for me to review. Um, and this one, I dreamt a few nights ago and I wasn't sure if it was something to be shared or just for me. So I, I took some time to just meditate on that and, and, and think on it. Um, but I'm now feeling compelled to share it. Um, it was kind of broken up in, into a few different sections and it seemed to kind of progress from one uh, segment to the next, almost like fast forwarding through time. Uh, I was in a house that I didn't recognize, huge space. Um, there's some people in it as well. It seemed that I was sharing the house with them that I didn't recognize either. Um, and I felt like it was the middle of the night and they were working on, on some things and I was working on my work on the computer. And from the large windows, you could see the darkness of the night and I saw the night outside get really bright and then dark again. And then really bright and dark again. And so I go up to the window and I saw what looked like kind of missile streaks. Um, or if you've ever seen like kind of, I guess a meteor or something kind of lighting up the sky and the sky goes dark again after it's passed. Um, it was kind of like that. And uh, the sky kind of glowed orange. When I, and I saw that streak and sky lighting up orange-ish and, and going dark again. Um, and then the sky just got bright and stayed bright. A little brighter than sunset. Kind of, still kind of an orange-ish tinge to things, but. And at that point within me, I, my alarm just went off like, oh, Yahush is returning. Fast forward to the next segment um, where there's this understanding that um, there's been a heavenly announcement, an announcement from Shamim. And this announcement has, is both a beckoning call for um, set apart ones of Yahuwah um, to come to a certain place is kind of what I gathered. And also the announcement that there's going to be certain kind of gifts, abilities given to them. Um, I'm just sharing the contents of the dream and then I'll share my reflections at the end, but uh, you'll will it. Um, and and kind of having the understanding, uh, I happen to have an ability, and there was someone. It seemed like they were going to fall to their death, um, and is almost is this is this is like in seconds compared to the length that I'm explaining this. But I like go and and I fly and cash the person and set them down safely elsewhere. Fast forward to the next segment where um, I'm just kind of in this place and there's other people there. And one person I recognize, a random coworker um, that I don't even talk to that much. And she comes up to me and is like, hey, um, do you know what's going on here? I kind of feel like you do. Um, can you know, can you tell me more about what's, what's happening here? 
and and you know and I and in my mind I just kind of kind of like oh, okay like you know I here's here's work to do sharing you know um the truth of what's going on now and um and then fast forward again to this latter segment where um it seemed like there was this thing going around and visiting people and it seemed to be and my the way I could try to describe it now it seemed it seemed like a drone but something way more complex than that and it was like physical and also spiritual at the same time kind of it was present and not present um, if I could explain it that way like you can kind of see that it was there and not there and it's you kind of see it and kind of not see it that it's moving around and visiting people and it was visiting people and with some it seemed to just scan if I could say that I didn't I don't even really remember seeing anything but I just kind of understood like oh it's, it seems to it's stopping and then seeming to scan a person that that's just what I how I would describe it um I just kind of had the understanding like okay this is like inspecting people and then for some it would go over to them and then it seemed like oh, there's this like quick burst of flame that was present and then gone and the person's gone and hard, hardly any remnant left um a terrifying sight and everyone around was terrified um even myself I woke up from the dream before it had come to visit me. Not even like just before, but it just, it was, it was still kind of visiting. It was like some, some people away from me and we're just, we're just kind of like, I don't know, standing in this weird kind of field slash, I could see kind of, I don't know, destroyed city in the background maybe. Um, anyway, um, so I woke up from that dream, um, wrote it down in my dream log and it was like, I don't know, 4 a.m. I get up and um, something like that. And just jarred, like excited and definitely terrified. Um, but a combination of those things and my immediate takeaway was like, no matter how confident you may feel that who was with you um, or how down and out you feel that who was not with you, um, at that time, everyone was in fear. And like many, I remember like on their knees and, and aren't just like buckled down and just like, oh. um, and I woke up and I remember feeling like I never want to, to forget this feeling because in that moment I was like, okay, I want to be on top of my game all the time, 24 seven, let's go. Um, and, you know, I wasn't sure if it was just for me. I'm like, man, it's just, I don't know if it's gonna translate, sharing with others, like, because I, I'm only describing what I saw. But uh, again, felt, compel felt compelled to share. So it's just like, all right, I try to just, try to be obedient to that. Um, and, Yeah, that was the gist of the dream. Now, you know, I was inspecting it and I, I just even just coming over the, uh, the end time scriptures because I, I really love end times prophecy and, you know, reading up on that kind of thing. And um, I've studied up in that uh, particular, you know, uh, section of scripture a lot, you know, like it's just it's just where my mind tends to, to wander. And like I love just kind of searching through the scriptures regarding, you know, gathering, just end times things and you know, I find, I find it encouraging and I find lots of just, you know, um, inspiration there. And, um, and I know a lot of things there are just kind of, I feel like didn't quite, quite line up with, with some things, um, that I've studied and the kind of things I have an expectation just 
but you know, I just, I'm like, okay, it's a dream. And I consider like, is this all from Yahuwah? Is this, you know, a mishmash of my subconscious rising up to the surface? And, um, but again, just how vivid it was and all that was happening in it. I just considered like, okay, like, uh, it's in, it's in my, it, it, it checked off the box for me where it's like, okay, is this a, a dream that I should log or not? Um, and especially the ones where it typically, if it's that vivid, I'm, t I'm like, where I'm like, I think I'm in reality until I wake up. Um, and I, like, I can vividly recall many of the details, despite, you know, some of these details, details feeling like they were days ago. Um, if I can explain that correctly, even, uh, anyway, um, so yeah, I just, uh, I just want to share it. And, um, the biggest takeaway is just, you know, keep, keep after you who are like, he is the reality. Um, the reign of the heavens is drawing nearer with every single day that comes and goes. If Yahuwah has not come this day, whatever that means to you, it could be the next. If it's not that day, it could be the next. And Yahuwah knows the time. He knows exactly when. And that time like is ticking, it's decreasing. Eventually the timer, the countdown will go to zero and then it's gonna be time. That is our reality. So maybe the details of the dream, maybe, you know, not 100% what we'll see, but bigger picture, the events of the announcement from the heavens coming. Yeah, it's a real thing that is coming. That reality is coming. And the amount of reverent fear that I felt in that dream and woke up from and just like fresh having like very strongly on me. I don't ever want to let that go. And I long to like share that so we can all have and be like, okay. Um, so that's that. Uh, thanks for watching, listening. Uh, and uh, just, if it's, if it's going to be of any value to anyone out there, it seems like, it's supposed to be a value to someone out there. So there it is. Um, but greetings to you from my house to yours. Um, I, yeah, um, for you family out there, um, uh, enduring where you are from one, uh, endure to another, um, from one imperfect one, striving for perfection to another, um, greetings to you, um, in the name of our master, and um, I just thank you um, for being alive and being you. You know, thank you for um, resisting your flesh and fighting against it. Um, you know, we're the light of the world and um, I have children. So um, we are molding this world for the next generation. So um, thank you for molding this world in a more positive direction toward the direction that Yahuwah desires versus what the enemy wants. Um, I don't want his, his way to 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 fly at all so um anyway um just greetings to you and uh shalom